from this nightmare. Yo, what is going on guys? Everything Trace here, and today I'm bringing you guys another Q&A video. I know I haven't done one in a while, I think it's almost been a month now, and I said it'd try to be a weekly thing, um, but I just got caught up in doing other uploads and stuff like that, but I am going to try to get back into it and start doing more Q&A videos for you guys. So um, just quickly before we get into this, if you guys want to ask me a question for my next Q&A video, just leave a comment below, or if you have a Twitter, tweet it at me, or just use the hashtag AskTrace, um, and I'll definitely try to answer them all in my next Q&A video but getting right into it we have for the first question from at got streaks and it says can I join your clan as staff if you make one um so all you guys are probably wondering I am no longer part of stun it did end and I'm probably done with clans for uh now I don't think I'll any help out or lead any other teams I might manage a few just because manager is easier than leading a team uh, I just don't got the time to lead so um sorry but I will not be leading a team so you can't join as a staff Next question comes from Royal Whitey, and it says, "How far do you plan on taking YouTube? What is your overall goal? Um, how far do I plan on taking YouTube till about I'm done college or start to get like a, an actual job where I make lots of money? Um, the reason for this is like use YouTube through colleges because obviously I do have a partnership, so I can make money from YouTube, um, so I get paid like monthly. And uh, if you're in college and stuff like that, you obviously have a dorm or like an apartment or something that you have to pay rent for monthly." So uh, having YouTube and trying to upload often from that and getting money from it um, helps not have a huge debt when you're done college to pay off the rent. So um, I do plan on taking it till I'm done college or university or some sort of that. Um, and what is your overall goal? My overall goal for YouTube, I guess, is to gain over uh, 100,000 subscribers. I know I'm very far away, but uh, if I just put in the hard work and keep uploading daily, I feel like I can get to that goal pretty easy. Also, guys, before we continue on, I am sick, so sorry if I do, like, mess up a few words because my mouth is really dry and it's hard to talk but I do got my water beside me but moving on we have Tasman asking how did you get into trick shotting and what was your first clan um back in PS3 in 2011 I got into trick shotting because of my IRL friends I used to be a, like a pub stomper I guess and uh, my friend showed me trick shotting and I really enjoyed it so I got into that and my first clan was Vino it's probably still my favorite clan today next to Lone moving on we have Zach Wyatt 64 I think and it says what would you do if you got into phase um, if I got in a phase, I'd probably freak out, um, probably tell my parents, even though they had no clue what I was talking about, I'd just tell them I got in phase, and I'd be really excited, and they'd probably be saying, like, what's phase, and stuff like that, and I'd just, I'd just be insanely happy, I'd go around telling people, um, I'd tell some of my friends that knew, know who phase is, um, but yeah, I'd just get really excited, because it's phase, they're like, 2.4 million subscribers, I think, I think, something like that, but, uh, moving on, we have Kevin Graphic, Calvin Graphics, I think, and it says, how long are you in this community, or how long were you in this community, I think, uh, I don't think he's English, I think he's like some other language, so it does make no sense when he does speak in English, but I think it's how long have you been in the community, oh, uh, I've been in it since, I think, like, March 2011 or something like that, I don't know, I'd have to go back and look at my very first channel, moving on, we have Zora with a question that says, do you ever, in a picture of a guy holding a fruit or something like that, and, uh, all the time, or do you ever just, in a all the time, Zora, I do that all the time. Um, but moving on, we have Thrust Krexa or something like that. It says, "What was your fa what is your favorite teams and members of each team? My favorite team's got to be FaZe, obviously, Dare, and Obey. Those are probably my top three favorite teams. And the favorite members from each, um, probably the whole leading staff from Obey. I think they're all really chill guys. Um, from Dare, I'd probably have to go with Feral. He's the leader as well. And then from FaZe, I'd have to go with... Prizey, um, Fakey, obviously, and Temper. Uh, those are just my favorite three from FaZe. Moving on, we have Joker Networking with a comment on my first Q&A that says, If you could meet anyone dead or alive, who would it be? If it had to be one person, I'd probably want to meet Hitler. Um, try and stop him before he killed all the Jews and just everyone in general. Or if I could meet like a whole bunch of people, I'd probably want to go back to the medieval times. I don't know, just to see how they did stuff compared to how we do stuff nowadays. Obviously, they did a lot of stuff different from history class what I learned about them but moving on we have super flight and it says who are your top five favorite leaders you've led with um I've led with very few people actually so they're probably all going to be you guys probably all know them but it is jaw I led quite a few clans with them um jaw alias bad pack so three from psycho obviously but I led a few more with jaw and alias um maltese from AE so that's four 
And my last one would have to be, I guess, Tanny when he helped out with AE right at the very beginning. He had quite a few connections, so those would be my three. Um, moving on, we have said Zora with another picture that says why. Um, I'll have the picture on the screen for you guys. You know, why not Zora? That's all I gotta say. <laughs> um, why not? But moving on, we have Hollows that says what plans do you have for this new year YouTube slash Codwise? My plans for this year is just to continue to grow. I'd like by the end of this year to have 50,000 subscribers or 100 depends how well I'm doing on my channel if I can continue to be active. So that's what I plan on doing with YouTube. And Codwise, obviously, um, I do commentaries. I'm trying to get back into pub stomping. I really want to join TK, their pub stomp team. So I'm trying to get back into try harding. And then for next COD, I might try and get in competitively. Um, I know there is a few age restrictions. So that's why I don't want to do it yet because like COD Champs is coming up and you have to be 18 plus and I'm only 16. So like next year if I did that, I wouldn't be able to do COD Champs unless they lowered it to 17. But yeah, I plan on trying to get into COD competitive wise um, for the next Call of Duty. But uh, moving on, we have Bluey OG, and it says, How has this community treated you throughout your YouTube career, fair or unfair, and why? Um, in my opinion, I've been treated pretty fair. Like, I haven't had really any issues. Um, obviously, there has been a few mishaps or whatever. But for the most part, I've been treated fairly because, you know, I just don't take this as serious as some people. I feel like the people who take this, like, COD and YouTube very serious always get treated unfair because they're trying so hard and just people make fun of them and stuff like that. But that's my reasons why people um get treated unfair and fairly. Moving on, we have Stun BC with when was your favorite time in the community and what is anything or anyone what that has or was in the YouTube community that you liked. Um my favorite time in the community have to be about I think it was late two thousand eleven or mid two thousand eleven, I'm not too sure. Uh when I was in the lone trick shotting, which was my first Xbox clan. It was the second clan I was ever in next to Vino. But um, I still know most of the guys uh, today still. I play with a lot of them, uh, which is pretty awesome. So those would be also the people I liked in the YouTube community that still play. Um, just all the people from alone, I guess. But moving on, we have Nicholas, and it says, Would you skydive with no parachute for a million dollars? It depends how high we are, because I was actually watching a YouTube video the other day of this guy who was skydiving from 9,000 feet, and his parachute malfunctioned, and he had no parachute at all, so he was falling 9,000 feet. And he landed in a tree somehow, like he planned on landing in a tree, I don't know how he did it. And um, he was able to, like the tree protected him and he was able to survive. So if I had him helping me survive this skydive with no parachute, and it was for a million dollars, I probably would do it. Um, just because of the fact I'd have a chance of surviving. And the last question, I don't have it in front of me right now, but it's from Seth Zora as well. He's asked three questions. And this one is actually a legitimate question. And I'm pretty sure it says, would I rather manage a team or be a leader of a team I'll have the picture on the screen for you guys to see the question and um, it just depends on what team it is to be honest I I would like to leave like dare or soar or something like that just because they already have a huge fan base you don't have to put a lot lot of work into it um and that's my problem because I am trying to put a lot of work in my personal channel so I wouldn't have much time to put a work into my um our leading channel I guess the team that I'm leading so I wouldn't have much time if it was like a really small team that you have to like put all your effort in to make it big um, but I would manage a few teams, um, there are a few I would like to manage, but um, other than that I just feel like sticking solo for a while, um, just to work on my personal channel, because it is my channel, I'd like to get the respect for myself and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, those have been all the questions for my Q&A video guys, if you would like to ask me a question like I said at the beginning of this video, just be sure to leave a comment below, or use the hashtag AskTrace, and I'll definitely answer them in my next Q&A video. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, also if you didn't, be sure to hit that refresh button and give it another try guys, and I'm my Peace. See you next time.